Hi, right, welcome everyone. This is a beautiful day today and we're in amongst creative people uh, at the MSB Dar es Salaam Inter School Art Festival. And uh, believe me, you don't want to miss this, uh, where we are seeing beautiful talent of our children being creative and showing their works of arts on display. So don't miss this chance. Um, I have uh, the principal of the school with me, uh, Sheikh Josefa. Uh, Zefa Bai, please give us a few words on about the festival today. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Madrasa al Saifir al-Burhaniya strongly believes in providing platforms for the holistic development of the students. Arts is also part of it. Today we have organized two things. First is the art gallery where we are depicting the and showcasing the talent of our students. Similarly, we have a live competition right now going on where students from Nairobi, Mombasa and Dar es Salaam are competing with each other. The purpose of this online comp uh, live competition is that to develop networking among each other and to learn from each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I think now we'll go and see what the works of arts are. And again, please do visit. Thank you. Okay, we are at the beginning of the art exhibition here. And amazingly, the way it has been organized is quite amazing. And uh, it's been organized into nine sections. Uh, I'm here with the art teacher, Miss Milan. Uh, just uh, tell her to explain what the nine sections are so that we can briefly go through them and uh, see how people have done their art. Miss Milan, what are these uh, nine sections that you are presenting in the, this art exhibition? Hello. Uh, the nine sections that we're presenting are based on uh, different mediums. So uh, the first section is going to be about the charcoals the charcoal sketches. The following will be about paint mediums. So in the paint category, there is uh, watercolors, acrylics, and poster colors. And following after, there will be pastels. So we have oil pastels and soft pastels. And following through, we have uh, mixed media artworks. So we will be working with different kinds of mediums, uh, paper mediums, paper mosaics, paper quilling, and um, as well as um, uh, textural artworks. Then finally, after that, we have the pencil color artworks. So based on the different categories in um, artistic design, we've used only pencil colors. So um, it's a vast majority. You will see artworks as, yeah, as young as KG all the way to year 10. Then following through my favorite category, the ink category, the pen, pen artworks, pen sketching. So you will see intricate details in pen, penmanship and uh, the detail uh, in sketching the artworks. Um, landscapes, you will see portraits, uh, mechanical, and of, of course, very creative artworks. It will be in uh, the form of black and white. Then following through, we have graphite artworks, graphite pencil works. So this is pencil sketches, uh, the same as well in different categories, in different designs and techniques in pencil works. And of course, um, after that, following through, we have project works that are done by all the students. Uh, these project works are involving science and technology incorporated into, um, into, um, into presentation in the form of art, as well as geographical um, scapes, for example, like aerospace, uh, galaxies, and so on. And of course, the last section will be the marker works, artworks that have been specifically using the medium, using markers. So we will see pointillism, um, mandala designs, and so forth. So there we have it. These are all our nine sections. Thank you very much. And I think you heard uh, such a vast type of arts and it'll be just wonderful to see all these different arts in this uh, category. So let's go through the sections and see what we can find and what we can explore. Okay, now here with the charcoal section, an amazing look at how the pens are and uh, work that has been done by the kids. Uh, you know, charcoal is a beautiful way of uh, using a medium to uh, look at the birds, the animals, the boats. Wow, it must be, I must say, the effort put into using charcoal is, is quite creative. Uh, great job to the young guys and kids. And you can see how they've creatively shown the charcoal and the pencils that have been used. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go to the next section. Okay, we are at the paint, acrylic, water, uh, based uh, paintings and this seems to be a very big uh, uh, section with a lot of creativity and color I must say from flamingos to ancient buildings to the space which has been presented by such color 
the birds you can see here. Wow, I think this is amazing. Uh, the kids are so creative. It's quite uh, interesting to see. Uh, we have the dome-shaped building here. Uh, okay, we have even the touristic uh, presentation of how wildlife in our natural attractions of, uh, of East Africa fare up. And parrots, what very nice colorful parrots. So beautiful use of uh, uh, acrylic uh, and uh, paints. Uh, wow, yes. Great job, guys, and uh, great job to the kids. And I think, you know, they do it in a, in a form of teams. Uh, so each uh, painting has the name of the person who did it uh, and the class and uh, the description of the painting. Very nice, very nice. Good. We have the oil pastels. Wow. Look at the presentation of how the oil pastel paintings are. Um, I can see some very interesting paintings. Something very interesting about the culture of uh, the African culture. You can see the nice uh, way the people have been presented. The ladies here with the color. Uh, I can see interesting. Wow. What a nice uh, painting for the flower. Uh, and use of color is quite beautiful. We also have Van Gogh here. Wow. Uh, the Starry Night. Uh, the children have been quite uh, creative in using oil uh, pastels in presenting their paintings. You can see the sunrise, the fruits, the birds, the wildlife. Quite amazing, quite amazing. And uh, the use of shades. So oil pastels has been quite uh, an interesting way of using color. And the variety of paintings also quite interesting. Nice, great job. Okay, here I think we're in a mixed media section, but it has really amazed me on how people have used waste of different sorts to make art out of it. Wow, something like pistas, you know, something like, you know, I used to even throw away has been used for, for art. The sharpened stuff from the pencils, the, ro uh, the, 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 the ropes, the paper. Quite an amazing use of mixed medium to do art. And the young kids are doing quite a great job. Um, we have these paintings here, uh, something like, look at this, together we stay connected, done by a class two student. Quite creative for our young people using the different mediums to say, leave no one behind. And the message is so deep, uh, it's quite amazing. Then these are young children, KG1, A, uh, incredible horses. Amazing, amazing. I must say the creativity amongst our children it's just amazing. Look at this peacock. Wow, what a unique uh, way of uh, presenting a peacock here with the different types of uh, paper and everything. So this mixed medium also quite an interesting section for uh, uh, showing your creativity. Wow, nice. Okay, this is pencils. First of all, quite an interesting way of uh, presenting our pencils, you know. So these are all paintings we done by pencil. Uh, we've seen we can see use of colorful pencils here and uh, very interesting heart, maybe showing the key to the heart done by a class six uh, student. Uh, very creative way of showing the key to the heart. We have beautiful birds against the backdrop of uh, a beautiful Fatemi architecture building with nice architecture uh, and uh, uh, done by a class uh, nine student. Uh, very nice and with MSB written on top, very beautifully done, showing our cultural heritage. A lot of uh, paintings of our cultural heritage here, uh, using just pencil, amazing. Quite, uh, quite, uh, quite uh, a unique way of uh, presenting our art through pencils. Ah, and I can see the fruits also here being, being presented so crisp. You can, you'd feel like just, you know, taking the fruit and eating it right now. So good job guys, class 7 student done that. Great, great. So this art painting is just done by pens. And uh, I can see the use of crisp pens using quite intricate uh, things like drawing cars. Uh, the use of a black pen is quite interesting, I'm told, which, which brings a very uh, crisp image out of the uh, different animals. You see, if you see all the different animals being used, and, and, and the pen, the way it works, the skeleton, right? The, 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 the plants, very nice uh, flying high horse through a pen, a drink, refreshing drink. And this is barely the use of pen to do your art. 
I, I believe must require a lot of concentration to be able to do something like this. And uh, wow, so amazing. Look at this, stories of time. And I, and I, and I presented in a very creative way. Guys, don't miss this. All right, I'm, I'm in a section which is called graphite pencil. So, you know, there, I've been seeing so much pencil work. Uh, graphite, charcoal, normal pencil. So I think I, I called the art expert here just to tell me the difference. So uh, art teacher, Ms. Uh, Ms. Milan, can you just show us an example of the difference between a graphite pencil and normal pencil? Sure, right this way. Uh, to make it clear, uh, instead of explaining, I'm just gonna show it to you. So this section over here, the elephant. This is sketched by a regular lid pencil, you see? And look at the texture. Moving down, we have a graphite pencil work and you can see the pencil works are classified with a soft black, a HB and a firm F as you can see. It's all about the depth and the texture of the pencil. Yeah, charcoal pencils are obviously made out of charcoal. <laughs> so there we have it. Thank you very much. So there you go. Uh, difference between different pencils at work. Safisana. And this is the last section of the marker. Marker pens uh, painting. Uh, we can see here very well presented uh, section of uh, different uh, paintings through markers. And I would just like to also show you on how the students from different uh, centers are here, from Dar es Salaam, Mombasa, and Nairobi. So it is quite a regional effort here. And I must congratulate all the centers to have done a great job. Uh, we are completing our section of the markers. Look at this uh, beautiful uh, bird showing how free it's moving uh, through, the, through the use of uh, such medium as markers and the flower and amazing, you see, the texture, the way it has been presented uh, is quite commendable. And uh, this brings us to the end of the exhibition. Um, I'm really uh, blessed to be able to uh, have gone through this and recommend anyone to come and see the efforts the children are making and the beautiful creative work they're doing. So don't miss it. Come one, come all. Thank you very much.